Roberto, just start with uh, team news. Any injury worries at all out of the game? Uh, no, no big news. Uh, um, um, some problem, but not uh, so important problem. No problem that's going to keep a player out? Uh, I want to see the keeper, I want to see the defenders. Um, we will see tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Uh, um, we decide the first 11. Now, it's been nearly a week since the game at Tottenham. Have you had a chance to reflect on everything that happened that day and the incident that took place on the touchline? No, uh, I am uh, still uh, honoured to, to play, to work in the uh, in UK, in Premier League, but uh, I want to, to work in um, respecting my my person, myself. Uh, what I had uh, to say, I I said in face to face, and I'm used to talking uh, face to face. Uh, um, I think I didn't make mistake, uh, and I'm clear. I'm honest. And uh, I like uh, speaking, I like talking uh, uh, face to face directly. Is it personal no. between you and Christian? No, Stalin? no, 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 no. No, because I don't know him. So what? What angered you so much that day? What upset you? Mm, I don't. I don't want to to speak too much. Uh, I think uh, uh, if I if I told you I. Don't think I make some mistake. I, I think I explain it well. Now the situation. So no regrets. No. Your passion. No, is because I. Um, I didn't uh, say bad uh, bad uh, words, and I respect always. But you know, uh, you have your. Uh, uh, style of life. I have my style, and when I have something to uh, to say, I'm used to speaking uh, one to one and and in directly way. Your passion is when I have something to say. So to 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 say, I'm not take the second way. No. So you don't waste time straight I, to the point. I don't, yes. I try again. Your passion is something that makes you the manager you are. I know the players speak about it a lot. But is there a time on the touchline where maybe that just crosses the line a little bit? Sulla passione te la riconoscono i giocatori che ti fanno il manager che sei, ma forse quando sei in panchina bisognerebbe leggermente calmare il fatto. I don't know. Uh, if you uh, um, for sure, uh, I can improve in uh, a lot of things and in, uh, in a lot of uh, part of my work, but I can't, I can't and I don't want to uh, lose my, my DNA. And my, my DNA is passion. I'm not uh, uh, the best coach or better than the other coach. I'm a normal coach. and. Uh, the the best part of myself is the passion is to to transfer my passion now it's another game for your side where your club received another apology from Howard Webb is that enough no i think a referee uh, can make mistake mistakes and there is a problem for me uh, I've never um, contested the, the referee's decision I respect a lot referee and I don't like when the other bench try to put uh, some pressure on, uh, on referee uh, the decision I think were clear the mistakes were clear, 
but the game is finished and we have to think in another game and we have to think what we can do better because the referee uh, the decision we can't change and we can't uh, improve in this uh, we can improve in our work in our job in our details in our uh, build up in our defensive phase yes and I don't want one my player contested okay normal mm, normal uh, uh, contestation contested uh, can uh, can be inside during the game but uh, at the end of the game we have to to be focused only on the ball on the football what did Howard say and explain to you as to why the decisions were reached that day though can happen can happen I think the coach uh, are the the people who uh, can make more mistakes and we have to adapt we have to accept the the mistakes uh, thinking only on our our uh, our work okay and how have the players reacted this week because i can imagine they were frustrated but well. we are still frustrated for sure uh, we look forward to play tomorrow uh, we want to we want to win the game because we deserve to win in uh, in uh, in, um, in Tottenham stadium and you know in the interview when i listen the Tottenham deserve to win is not right is not correct people it's foxy people it's correct is a uh, right uh, word is uh, not correct because when I, when we won in Arsenal Stadium in Carabao Cup, I spoke. Uh, we didn't deserve the victory, clear. And I, I don't love listening the foxy people. Um, just two more. Sorry. Uh, change the subject though on Saturday you'll see Mikhail Mudrik a player you know very well are you looking forward to seeing him because I yes, know yes, you yes. created a special bond with those players no we have uh, me and my staff we have a special uh, relationship uh, he's uh, like a son uh, I hope uh, uh, he stays on the bench uh, he doesn't play, but um, I love him, we love him, and uh, we hope uh, the best for, for him from the next uh, game. <laughs> so from the next game, obviously a player like him, he moved for a lot of money to the Premier League, a young player, a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Do you think that pressure maybe has just got to him a little bit? Oh, I think uh, <clears throat> for for Chelsea team uh, was a... Uh, Mm, a difficult season, no? but they are still a big, big, big team and can happen one season like this uh, and uh, for a young player, a foreign young player, it's more difficult to, to adapt in another country, in another football. And Chelsea have uh, many, many big players. And I think um, it's a normal situation for him. He has to adapt. He has to understand. His life is changed. Uh, but I think he's a good guy. He's a smart guy. Uh, he can become a, a top, top player. Roberto, finally, final one, quickly. Sorry, guys. Um, this week you were interviewed by kids as a press conference. Children interviewed you. What's easier, chatting to the kids, having I, questions from them, or sitting with us? I on? must admit, uh, I prefer that conference press than <laughs> to speak with you. But uh, <laughs> but um, yes, it was a, <clears throat> a a great moment for me. Uh, and if you watch the the press conference, I was different uh, face, no? I noticed. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Roberto.
Okay. Chris. So, um, so you're preparing to take on a Frank Lampard side tomorrow afternoon. How much do you know about him and his style of play? Cosa conosce di Lampard e del suo modo di giocare che affronti domani? In Wolverhampton uh, game, they played 4-3-3. Uh, three, three. Now in um, Champions League, they played uh, in uh, with three, with five defenders. I think they they have a, a, a great squad. I think they can play with three first eleven. No, they, I don't know how many players they have. Uh, but I don't know tomorrow uh, how can can be the game. I respect him. He was a, a great player and he's a great manager. Your first win as Brighton boss came as a nice win over Chelsea. Um, does that give you a bit more confidence going into tomorrow? Uh, we have uh, always a uh, big confidence in ourselves, in our work, in our job, but uh, uh, I think uh, um, it will be a completely different game. Uh, it will be a dif difficult game, tougher game for us, for them, uh, and we want to uh, restart to, to, to win, to, to make points. That game, you also gave Matoma his full Premier League debut. Um, how exciting is it for you as a manager to carry on working with a player like that and developing him? Quanto per te emozionante come allenatore continuare a sviluppare giocatori come Mitoma? But on, not only Mitoma, I think Cariu is improving a lot in, all, in every part of the pitch. Uh, he's scoring a lot of goal, uh, goals. Um, yeah, he's a, one of the most important players in in our uh, in our team, and I love working with the the smart guy who want improve uh, because football is not yesterday. Football is today or tomorrow, and if you don't want to improve, you can't you can't play football. Hi Roberto, uh, 10 games left in the Premier League, you're in a great position, but nearly a game every three days. I just wondered if the time to teach them your style, you have no more time now, it is game, 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 it is up to the players now, a big responsibility. Yes, we have to adapt, I think uh, we are in, in, in grow in, uh, in terms of uh, quality of play. <clears throat> um, in terms of, in terms of uh, the, the, how many players can be ready to play in the first 11. And we have to, to be focused on step by step, game by, by game, uh, to, to make uh, more points as possible to achieve our target. The first target is very difficult to achieve, but, uh, but there are uh, ten, 10 games are 30 points and we can fight for uh, for other important targets. You will really need to trust every player and use every player in the squad probably for the last two months. Yes, uh, yes, now it's difficult because Mitoma is playing fantastic way, March is playing well, uh, Ferguson and Welbeck uh, they are in a good moment. Uh, Alexis uh, McAllister is a top player for us. And for Enciso, for uh, Undava, for Facundo Buonanotte, it's, it's difficult to, to find uh, uh, more space. But for sure, uh, in, in this last part of the season, can, uh, can arrive the, the possibility. They can improve play. and improve. You feel there's lots of room. Pensi che possano migliorare e migliorare, no? I think the, 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 the young, younger player can improve uh, playing on the pitch and not only on the training session. But my, my work is uh, understand before when there is the, the right moment. 
because I don't want to lose uh, um, the, no one, any player. Chelsea this weekend, three managers, many changes, many players. How hard is it for you as a manager to prepare to play them? Working in with my with my idea, working uh, with the focus on uh, my team uh, to improving uh, and to working in the, in the in the part where we can improve. Uh, yeah. Do you feel the pressure is on them this weekend? Pensi che la pressione questo weekend sia su di loro la pressione? Boh, I don't know. Difficult question. They have had a bad season, or difficult season, certainly. They, they need to improve. You have big targets. Sicuramente loro hanno avuto una stagione molto difficile, stanno avendo una stagione molto difficile, ma anche... Yes, but it's difficult to, to, to speak up about the other team. I don't know the situation, I don't know the, the, the why uh, they have a... They had a difficult season, I don't know. For sure, we respect them because they are a top player. Uh... Finally, because of the confidence of your team, you must feel like you went to Spurs and played well, that you can go to all these teams and take them on. La fiducia nei tuoi giocatori fa sì che puoi andare a far partite in casa dello Spurs come hai fatto lo scorso weekend. I think uh, <coughs> the 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 bigger improvement in this part uh, in the, the last two months of the uh, of my time is in mentality is in our head and uh, now we have uh, another level of uh, confidence not arrogance because we are brighton not uh, we aren't uh, a top top team but uh, to achieve uh, and to fight for the the height target you have to have a big confidence in yourself no and i think uh, mm, we are improving now uh, but i i understand uh, you you can understand my word uh, watching the game watching the personality uh, which uh, we are playing uh, away uh, in Tottenham Stadium in, with a, in, a, in a big stadium uh, against big team 